Hello fellow guitar geeks, today no messing around, time for a serious video, a challenge for a boutique guitar maker. This is the Lassie from Rubato Guitars. It is a monocoque carbon fiber guitar with a piece of maple slapped on as a fingerboard. It is a monocoque, meaning one piece guitar body and neck. There's no join with a maple fingerboard on it and then all the rest of the good stuff going on as you would find on a regular guitar. Because it's carbon fiber, it's very, very strong and it does not have a truss rod. It's currently strung up with nine to 42 gauge strings. However, Oliver, from Roberto Guitars says that I can put 13s on there and it will handle it without any adjustment. That's why this is a serious challenge video. Now it doesn't feel right to have such a special guitar in the studio and not play it. So first thing we're going to do is make some sounds with it and then we'll change the strings, make some more sounds with it and then we'll put some more nines back on it to see if it really really passes the test. This is going to be fun I promise. Well if not fun for you then certainly fun for me. Okay sounds. <laughs> So that's how the Lassie sounds and feels with nines on, and surprisingly, it's not that slinky. And what I mean by that is when I play a Strat, and this is a Strat scale, a, a 25 and a half, um, it, it feels really bendy. This one just feels right. Also, before I change the strings, let's hear it unplugged. Now that's just coming through my vocal mic, but it's amazingly bright. There's not a lot of roundness to it, as you'd imagine. It's quite thin and it's carbon fiber, but hopefully the pickups are compensating for that. They seem to be because it sounds great plugged in. It's so loud. Let's take a quick look at the Lassie before I rip the strings off. We've got double mini humbuckers, which are rear mounted just here and here. If you check out the website, you'll see that there's something special going on with the springs uh, in the pickups. Then we've got six ferrules, meaning it's a string through. We've got an access part just here. Over back on the front, we've got master volume, master tone, a three-way switch, a six saddle bridge, and then slapped up here is a big old piece of maple with some really shiny frets, and the fretwork is exquisite. Looking at the back again, you'll notice it's not, like, I thought this is where the neck was bolted on at first, but it's not bolt on, it's not neck through, it's not glue on, it's one piece. That's all one piece from the, from the bum to the toes. No, from the toes. So from the bottom, right the way through to the top is one fancy piece of carbon fiber. And looking at the headstock, we've got Grover tuners, the kidney bean kind of Les Paul tuners. Then very special over here is a custom nut, which is made by Rubato, and a zero fret for your intonation needs. And then back over to the front again, that's the guitar. String winder, strings, strings off. But now, the reason you bought your tickets to the show, the 13s. Strings are through, and it wasn't just an easy experience, it was quite satisfying watching them wiggle down into, into the block. Um, all right, into the ferrules, I should say. Now I'm gonna put the strings into the tuners, and then I'll be back just before I, I tune them up to pitch and see if I snap this guitar in half. I almost forgot, before I put the 13s on, I was supplied with this little shim that goes underneath the string guide. Now the string guide is loose, you can kind of hear it moving. I've got this uh, carbon fiber shim, so it's not just like a piece of plastic or a piece of cardboard. It's made of the same stuff the guitar is, but you're not going to see it, but it just slides in there. And then I tighten it back up, and away we go with the 13s. It's ready. Right, the strings are on, and I'm not blessed with athletic dainty fingers, so that was quite a job for me. I forgot 
every time to put them through this string guide. So there's that. It's currently loose, so now it's time to tune it up and see, um, see if his neck bends or breaks or snaps or explodes. Amazingly, the top E was already in tune. Damn, I'm good. Um, all right, it's probably not in tune yet because I, I barely tuned it. Okay, so good news is the neck did not explode. Let's get it up to pitch, so let's bend these strings in a little bit. It's not yet tuned up to pitch, but it's fairly close, and spoiler alert, it's done almost nothing to the neck. Let's tune it up to pitch. Right, it's in tune, moment of truth, let's put it through the amp, add a little bit of reverb from the Ocean's Eleven, just because. Okay, let's get a close-up camera on there because from here it looks like, well, let's look at it. So, there it is. Look at that. Maybe the action's a little higher, but certainly nothing that feels unplayable. The neck has not moved, or I should say the neck doesn't feel like it's moved, but we need to check it by playing it. Roberto Guitars, you have passed the challenge. This guitar is not only not unplayable now that I've changed, not from 9s to 10s, not from 9s to 11s, not from 9s to 12s, but from 9s to 13s, that neck has not moved, and the only thing that needs changing is that the saddles need to go down ever so slightly because of the thickness of the string, and that's the only reason. So it's nothing to do with the neck, nothing to do with the guitar itself, but because the thickness of the string has changed, that saddle could do with going down a little tiny bit. However, even the intonation is good. It's a joy to play. I mean, these are 13s on there, so let's let's put some rock into it. Right, suggestion for you, if you're in a band that uses down tunings and you're not in standard E and you want to do something with thicker strings, if you can afford it, because these are not cheap, then this is a great guitar for that. That, that tone just is amazing. I'm going to do that again. Hang on. I would almost argue that it sounds more fun with the 13s on it. It's still loud. Insanely strong. Okay, if you thought that carbon fiber wasn't strong for some reason, then you're wrong, and I'm surprised. But uh, yeah, I've had a fun, fun little time with this guitar. Now I'm in dropped B flat. <laughs> I have noticed something undesirable, and that's the behind this string guide nut thing. Those sounds are extremely prominent with high gain. But a fret wrap will do that nicely, or a little bit of tape, or some ribbon, or something. You need that behind this guitar if you're going to uh, to do what I just did. One final test, and that's to put the nines back on. I'll do that and come back. I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me tune up again.
The guitar's back as I received it, so 9 to 42 strings, shim removed from the string guide, and the neck and body and all the intonation and stuff doesn't seem to have shifted at all. I was going to say by a millimetre, but I, I haven't actually measured it. What I can say is that um, as a guitar player from the playing experience, it doesn't feel like it's shifted. It feels like I've just had a great experience with some really thick strings and did no work whatsoever apart from putting the strings on. So, yeah, I'm very, very pleased. I'm not surprised because why would they say it could do it if it couldn't do it? The guitar does not play cheap. It doesn't look cheap. It doesn't sound cheap. And it isn't cheap. So I'm not going to give exact prices because there's links underneath the video with more accurate pricing and there's options you can do. But you're probably looking around 4K, which is a lot for a guitar. But this is kind of the guitar of the future. You know, but really, if you've got anything against carbon fiber as a material, I hadn't played a carbon fiber guitar until now. You can't say it sounds like wood because it doesn't. But with some changes to my, my pedals and changes to the frequency on the amp that I normally have, it sounds good. It sounds like a good guitar. It's not trying to emulate wood. It does feel good. As a, as a playing experience, it feels good. It doesn't It doesn't feel plastically, plasticky. It doesn't feel... All, uh, fake it doesn't feel that in any way as a playing experience if you didn't know that was carbon fiber apart from the weight you wouldn't know it's beautiful um so whoever gets this guitar after me to review have a jolly good time put some 14s on there see if it does 14s you might have trouble getting them through the string guide that that wasn't easy while i have your attention can you please click the bell button because some of you are saying you're not receiving my videos at the moment and i think it's because you're not ringing that bell as youtubers say so if you've subscribed great ring the bell if you haven't subscribed already do that and ring the bell Thank you to Roberto Guitars for sending this guitar out. I will be sending it on to someone else. Thank you to you for watching the video. There are videos over there. In fact, I've put one up of another player playing this guitar because he sounds phenomenal. Go and watch that. Otherwise, I will see you at some point in the future. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.